What's going on guys? My name's Anivis and welcome back to another Forza Horizon 5 video. We're going to be checking out a new car that came with the seasonal update. It's going to be the Plymouth Barracuda. Should be a really, really cool car, honestly. I really like the old school cars. I love how they look. I love the styling and everything. So it's going to be a really, really cool freaking uh, car to drive around. What I'm really excited for though is the Super B. That's the one that I'm super excited for. But we don't have that one yet. We have the Plymouth Barracuda, but if you guys didn't miss the last video, it's because you are not subscribed and you guys need to subscribe with the bell turned on and you got to smash like, share with the friends and all that other stuff, um, you know, just so you don't miss another video. But if you did miss the last video, it was about this thing, the Lexus RCF with a thousand horsepower. This thing is an absolute track monster. Super, super cool car. It does spin out. It does drift very, very well sometimes. And... I'm not even on drift suspension or drift tires, and this thing just handles so freaking well. It's crazy. All right, guys, so we got some of the people that commented recently and on the last video. So I do have a comment from like a video from far beyond um, this past video, but we do have Coolboy59 saying, "Yeah, I really enjoy your content. Can I possibly play with you on Xbox?" I responded to him, said yes, add me on, I'll add you back, and yeah. So there's that. We also got Gaming Ryan saying, "You're a legend for giving shout out every new video, dude." you're a legend for commenting on this video so thank you thank you for that and we got moon shredder 51 saying it was a modded account but who knows we'll probably see it in the new dlc he is referring to the monster truck from like the what do you call it the hot wheels monster truck i don't even know if it's a hot wheels monster truck but it was on that video where i drive like a monster truck in forza horizon 5 as part of a forza horizon 5 event Alright guys, so to get the Barracuda, all you have to do is complete 20 points on the Autumn Seasonal Playlist. All I did was do the Event Lab, Speed Zone, Trailblazer, Drift Zone, Seasonal Championships, both of them. And then you do both of the Horizon uh, Circuits, right? The Rival Circuits. Alright guys, here it is. The Barracuda Formula S from 1968 by Plymouth. It is rear wheel drive, 550 in C-Class. It has 300 horsepower, 400 foot-pounds of torque, and it weighs... 3,500 pounds out of a 6.3 liter engine. Let's hop into this thing. I'm going to do a little walk around. All right, guys, we're here in the Forza Vista. We got Plymouth badging right there on the, you know, front bumper or like front uh, uh, end, I guess you would say. Plymouth badge right there. Haven't seen a Plymouth badge in forever, dude. Barracuda symbols right there on the side. Got some cool racing stripes down the, uh, the side of the car. The back end, the tail lights are super, super small, but the back end looks pretty good. I like it. I absolutely like it. Square dual outlet exhausts. Can we open everything up? Oh, yes, we can. All right, first of all, the engine. Looking nice, looking nice. It is a 6.3 liter V8, putting out 300 horsepower. It's a nice engine. I like it. I like the old school stuff. Hopping into the Barracuda, it is a five seater, I believe. There's a bench seat on the back. It is a manual transmission. There is no cup holders in this thing, though. You can fit a body in there, in the back, for real. <laughs> There's enough space for it. Cool. Uh, it is a bench seat on the back. I believe it's only a two-seater, though, on the back. Maybe. Maybe. I can't really tell. All right, guys. We're here at Lookout Circuit, right? It's north of the map. This is a different race that I, than I usually do. But we're going to start this race. It is a classic muscle car at C-Class at 550. 300 horsepower, 400 foot-pounds of torque. See what this thing can do in its little circuit. We got, we're against a whole bunch of other classic muscle cars. Got a Dodge Charger right there. Some Camaros behind me. It accelerates pretty well. For being a car from 1968, what the frick are you guys doing? Learn how to drive. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> Get out of the way. But yeah, being a car from 1968, oh god. It needs tires, for real. Um... I've said this so many times, but being a car from 1968, it does accelerate pretty freaking well from a standstill and out of the corners. So, I don't know, man. We're in third gear, going 100, almost 100 miles an hour. Turning needs some work. It does sway a lot, and then the back end does step out a little bit every time, so it does need some upgraded brakes as well. But we're going to be doing all of that when it comes to it when it comes to upgrading the car but as of right now we're in seventh place it does it does well it does well we're going into the second lap i am going to concentrate all right guys going into the third lap i did lose a position only because this camaro like pushed me for real he like i went into a corner and this camaro like pushed me 
but like I had no choice but to hit the corner. So, that's the only reason I'm in 8th place right now. Aside from that, I did notice the car steps out from the back a lot. Like, there's no way to prevent it. The back end does step out a lot. It's really hard to control sometimes going into corners and out of corners because the back end, it just goes. Like, it'll step out by itself without doing anything. Like right here, steps out. I wasn't even turning that much. Well, it looks like we're going to be taking 8th place, unfortunately, for a C-Class car 550. In the middle of C-Class, I expected a little bit better from this car, but I can understand it. It is a 1968 car, it does sway a lot. Um, tires from back then are not too good, so we're going to have to do some upgrades. We're going to have to see what we can do just to get this thing, you know, going well. All right, at the upgrade shop, let's see what kind of engine swaps and stuff we can do to this. Wow, we have a lot. We have a 6.2 liter V8, 415 horsepower. We can throw in the turbo diesel if you wanted to. 7.8 liter, I mean a 7 liter V8 H. I don't know what that means, H. Hemi, is that what that means? 6.2 liter V8 DSC, 707 horsepower. 8.9 liter V8. 7.7 liter v12 and an 8.4 liter v10 oh we do have some upgrades in the front we can do a bumper delete or we can add like a little arrow slip i'm gonna do a bumper delete i think that would look a little bit cool i will do aerodynamics in the back bumper delete in the rear i feel like that looks kind of weird and the front hood we can change as well we can do like a honestly that looks kind of cool little cow hood i'll do the cow hood because it looks kind of cool i like it all right, tires. We do need upgraded tires. So I'm going to do race slick tire compound. 305s in the rear. 275s in front. We do have uh, track width. So let's do all of that. All the way out. Extend that. Wheels, I kind of want to change. They look kind of kind of dated and ugly. Like just a little bit. So I'm going to go with... Ooh, honestly, these don't look bad. I like those. <laughs> so we have a size 14 rim. If you wanted to go bigger, you could go with a size 20 inch rim, which is a little bit insane. I'm gonna do 16s and I'll do a 17 in the rear just to give it like that, you know, cool muscle car type of look to it. I think that looks pretty freaking good. Transmission, we're gonna upgrade all of it. And then coming over here to platform and handling, let's go to brakes, race brakes, we do need that. And then we do need to make this thing go as far down as possible. That way we can get, you know, better uh, turning ability. Sway bars front and rear all the way upgraded and let's do a full weight reduction out of uh, 644 pounds we can take out not bad And we're gonna install all of that a thousand and fifty horsepower We are at the top of s1 class at 800 actually no we're in the middle of s1 class 855 We weigh 2622 pounds. It's gonna cost us a hundred and seven thousand credits to complete that moving over to paint options We do have quite a bit the red looks so good What the heck? Like a brownish. Oh, this blue one. This teal one. Oh, man, dude. Black. And then we have like the white with blue stripe. I like this teal one. For real. That looks super good to me. And I'm not going to mess with anything else. I'll save it like that. All right, guys. We are in our upgraded Plymouth Barracuda. It looks so good from this angle. Look at the way the car looks and how it's sitting right now. That looks super, super good. So we're at S1 class in the middle at 855. Hellcat engine swapped. Barracuda. Let's see what this thing can do now with its upgrades. The car looks so freaking good though right now. Alright, a lot of wheels spin off the line. Still spinning. Fourth gear catches grip. Fifth gear. Oh shoot. In the 11th place currently. Oh wow. We still can't turn. Wow, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. Bro, fifth gear like pulls so hard right now. You have no idea. Get out of the way. Oh my god. I'm going to blame it on AI. Like they slow down for the stupidest freaking corner. Honestly. In every race. Alright, fourth gear. Going around corners. I don't know, man. It's a little hard to tell right now. The car does well. It's just... I'm scared to do full throttle around a corner because... It has way too much horsepower, and it'll just spin up those wheels, for real. 
All right, second lap, gonna concentrate. All right, guys, third lap, sixth place. We're doing better than we did before in the first race. I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch up to these guys. They're going way too fast around corners. I cannot catch up. I should have left that front bumper in just because it would have helped me so much going around corners, but I didn't. So that's why I am struggling way too much around corners. Yeah, the front end does not want to turn. Oh shoot. That's totally my bad though. Might as well go in cross the line with a with a finish. Boom. The car looks so good, okay? Like for real? The car looks so good. <laughs> Like, yes, we suck at racing. Yes, we finished in sixth place, but the car looks so good. That's the thing. All right, guys, we're in the Plymouth Barracuda here at the highway. We're going to be doing a top speed run from here, from end to end, basically. We're going to see how fast this thing can go with its Hellcat engine swap. Got some people racing over there. Second gear, third gear spinning still, fourth gear still spinning. Car grip in the middle of fourth. We're going to fifth gear. We're doing 150 miles an hour. Okay, buddy. Six gear. Bro, that Monte, Car Monte Carlo is pretty freaking fast. Doing 190 miles an hour. Yeah, it's going to pass us. With the Hellcat swap, this thing is not that fast. I would have thought it would have been faster. We're doing 198. 199. We're kind of struggling to gain speed. I don't know why we're going so slow though. It doesn't make any sense to me. We have a thousand horsepower. It could be due to aerodynamics and how the car is made, but I feel like this thing should be a little bit faster. We're doing 201 miles an hour. We only have six gears. Oh God. Going uphill, going down in speed though. We're gonna go downhill in a second after we pass these radio towers to our left. And we should start going downhill right now. 201, 202, 203, 204, 5, 6, 206 miles an hour is going to be the top speed with this thing with its Hellcat engine swap. Fully upgraded Hellcat engine swap at 1,050 horsepower. It's, a, it's an okay car. It's just... A different engine would be better maybe using the stock engine would be better because this thing does spin out so much in a race maybe using the stock engine because the stock engine you can upgrade it fully up to about 583 horsepower I believe um, maybe that'll be good it, it won't do any like top speed records or anything and then aside from that if you do not want the Hellcat engine or you don't want to stick with the stock engine you do have other options like the diesel engine a v12 a v10 also a seven an 8.9 liter v8 i believe with 1500 horsepower the car does well it's just hellcat engines like spin up wheels way too much like that's what they're made for right they're made to go fast and stuff like that but they're not the fastest thing uh, in forza horizon 5 which is unfortunate Anyways, if you guys did like the car, or if you guys have any comments about the car, if you guys did like the video, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'll be shouting you guys out in the next video if you guys do want to shout out. Like I said, comment down below. Um, subscribe if you are new. We're 834 subs, trying to make it to 900 by the end of July. So, see if we can get that, make that happen. Aside from that, guys, I want to thank you all so much for tuning in, so much for watching, so much for continuing to show your support. And uh, I have a TikTok now, so follow me on TikTok. Link will be in the description down below. Thanks a ton for watching. Hope you guys have an outstanding day and I'll catch you guys in the next video.